Hey, what's up? It's Kelly back with another video. And today I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul and I would like to have a little skincare conversation. So let's get into it. The first few products that I got, um, I were just restocks, honestly, because I have just not been taking care of my skin lately, and I've just been using, like, baking soda and water and my mom's moisturizer, like, on my face, you know? And that's just not right. So, I decided to reorder the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor Moisturizer. And I had to reorder a whole one. I'm just going to show you what all of this looks like, just in case you don't know. I had to reorder a whole one because um, I used everything else that came in my Fenty kit. And um, I think I may have accidentally thrown away the original case. Like just, you know, not even thinking about it. So this is what the moisturizer actually comes in. And you can like just buy this refill for like $10 cheaper on Sephora. So this is just a case and you twist it up and down. I'll show you how it goes in. You just plop it in there and you twist it down to close it and twist it up and you just squeeze it out and yeah it's this feels so good on my skin my face always feels like so buttery smooth when I use that so I'm super glad to have that back I've been waiting like I feel like I've been waiting three years for this stuff to come in so Second on the Fenty skin list, I got the Total Cleanser. I reordered that because my skin always feels amazing after I use it. I always feel so clean and just so purified. Like, it's incredible. Squeaky clean. The third product that I got was the Fenty Skin Flash Nap Under Eye um, Gel Cream. So I'm super excited to try this. I've really only tried the original Fenty Skin Launch, and I'm really big on under eye cream right now, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. I would like to make at least one or two more videos um, pertaining to this, like, you know, just to show you, like, how the product that I'm going to use today works on my skin, like, how it is working. So, um, this is going to be something that I'm using a lot, so you'll get to see how that works on me, you know. So. <laughs> Thirdly, and Still in the Fenty category, I picked up um, a Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil in the color Black Brown. And um, I really, when I do my eyebrows, you know, black is a bit too dark for me. So I usually go for like the shade above the darkest. My hair isn't like really extremely black, like in the sun it's like a black brown. So I think it kind of goes well like with my eyebrows. I don't know, you know how the stuff works. I'm kind of ashy, but... This is how it looks on my hand, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty natural. Like when you fill this in, like it would be super natural, you know? So I think if you really just like the supernatural look and your hair is like almost black, it's, it's like basically black, but not black, then black brown would be okay for you. So then I also picked up um, another Estee Lauder Double Wear 24 hour concealer in the color 6w extra deep warm as usual you know i really don't know what color i am i just clicked reorder on sephora and this is what i have so we'll get to see this someday as well and i picked up um, a little sephora hemp mousse mask this really the color doesn't really show up on your face like i've bought like four of these this is like my fifth one and I'm just now realizing it's a hemp mousse mask so it's not going to be a super pigmented like mud mask or something you know like it's just going to be on your face but it does justice and this is perfect for a backup when I run out of everything else I got some little samples too I'm really excited to try this Murad dark circle corrector um honestly I've really just been focusing on under my eyes a lot and my mom used to use Murad so I'm super excited for this and then I got an Alginist anti-aging cream. I'll probably just use this at night on my neck and my face, you know? Um, yeah, I just love anti-aging products, so I've never tried them before, so I'm super excited for this too. So on our almost to last, I also picked up the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moore Mud Mask. And this is supposed to help with my dark spots, with my anti-aging problems, with um, any like, you know, dryness, impurities, um, circles. This is supposed to be like a wonder mix in like a jar. So it's the most expensive facial product that I've probably bought. 
Um, I really honestly didn't do a lot of research on it. I just really looked at the reviews and compared to like a couple of other products that I really liked on Sephora's website. So I'm just trying this out. It does retail for $60. I don't know if you could find it anywhere cheaper. That's what I got it for on Sephora. But um, I'm not going to try it today. You know, I might try it in my next video. But um, I'll just open it up so you guys can see what it looks like. So, there's a little instruction manual that just fell. So the top says Peter Thomas Raw, real bougie. And, oh, it's like really st sticky. Like, I did not expect it to come up like that. Mm. It doesn't really have a smell. I'm super excited to try this. I think I'm going to make a video on this separately just because it's so cool. And I'll get more into it, honestly, because I don't know like anything about this. The product that we are going to be talking about today is the Dr. Jart Shake and Shot um, Rubber Mask. And this is supposed to be a hashtag instant brightening boost. And I really just wanted this because of my dark spots. And I just felt like, you know, I've been like going through so much lately. Life has been so crazy, you know, with COVID and everything. I just needed something to brighten my day, you know, my appearance. So um, I don't really know a lot about Dr. Jart, but I see their products all the time. This is so cute. I see their products all the time and they're not super expensive, but I'm just like, you know, I'm just a bit of a biased purchaser, so yeah. <laughs> I finally decided to give them a try. This was on sale on Sephora, so I'm just going to read the sign and we'll see what it does. Let's see, Super Booster. So, remove, open and remove the spatula from the lid. Combine both step one and step two. Close lid, cover the hole, shake well. Spatula two to three minutes. Okay, we can't let this sit in this cup for more than two to three minutes, or I guess it'll dry up. But we're going to leave it on my face for 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, and then we peel it off. Oh, it's going to be rubber? Oh my gosh. So this is like a rubber mask. Ugh, it says it's a rubber brightening mask. I've never done this before. I'm like, this is cute. I want to keep this. Let's open her up. Oh, oh, is this <sighs> my hair? This little um straw is actually the spoon. Can I just take that off? Oh, oh, it's like a little holder. I'm keeping this. This is so cute. Like you know, a little drop. So okay, we're just gonna open this up. Oh, it feels so weird. I'm like. I'm just putting the spatula back in the cup. The most sanitary option at this point. Mmm, it feels so weird. Okay, so here's step one. And this is step two. It's like liquid. It's liquid. Oh, but is this okay? So, I'm just going to read the back. There's instructions. It says, shake a cocktail. Give it a shot. Um, basically, the same instructions. I guess they're probably on both. This says it's the Super Booster, um, and let's see, it's supposed to have double boosting effects. Phase 1, mixing phase transforms liquid to cream. Phase 2, setting phase transforms skin to sheet mask to improve the absorption of the product onto the skin. Benefits, improves the look of skin through hydration and enhances the visible appearance of the skin radiance before your daily skincare routine. So does this mean that I am supposed to use this before my daily skincare routine? Okay, let's see what number two says. Oh, number two says instant brightening boost. Illuminates and visibly brightens the look of dull skin. It's saying to shake this. Am I supposed to shake this? It's supposed to have orange vitamin C and Vita Botanical Complex. So, Yeah. <laughs> All the steps are just saying the same thing. I'm just going to shake it. It says shake it right here. <laughs> so I'm super scared. I'm just going to pour the cream in first because I don't want this liquid to like get everywhere. 
Now we're just gonna squeeze that into here. I'm like, dang, so you can only make one mask and there's low-key a lot of formula. Ew, it's not even, it's like hair gel. <laughs> but yeah, so it doesn't stink. So you can only make one mask with this, like, cause there's a lot of product in here. Like whose face is that big, you know? So this is really only a little bit. Hopefully this is all the product we need. I just don't know what to do with all this liquid when I'm done. Like this is, this is a lot. So it doesn't say what to fill it up to. So I'm just going to pour it. It's not coming out. It's coming out. I hear it fizzing. So, I think I may need more cream, but I'm just going to like scooped a little bit off the edges of the cup and stir that in mm. so how long do we stir for oh you know what i'm supposed to stir i'm supposed to shake this squeeze a bit more cream in there and then I put this like this and I put this in here I'm scared how is this not gonna like spill dude mm, make sure the spatula is like you know Covering the little seal hole so you don't get stuff everywhere. So how long do I shake it for? Shake well until fully mixed. Okay, let's... Ooh. Oh, it's trying to come out. Ugh. Ugh, it's not even making noise anymore. This is... Let me take a peek inside. Do you think there's too much cream? I'm just going to shake it. I think it's ready. Uh, oh, I don't know if it's ready. I don't know. Let's just shake it a little bit more. I think it's done. I'm like, anything more and this is a workout. So let's open up. Okay. This looks like shampoo, but I'm going to put it on my face because I really don't care. So here we go. This isn't, um, even if it's not properly mixed, I'm pretty sure nothing is going to happen to my face. I really hope nothing is gonna happen to my face. It was on sale, so hopefully that's just because everyone loved it. But I just I they said you're supposed to peel this off, honestly, so um, you're not supposed to let it touch your lips. Or your eyes, clearly. So this is the worst applicator known to man, but um, I'm just going to keep going because my postmate just brought my pasta. <sighs> okay, make sure it's thick. <laughs> I, I hope it's supposed to be thick. Well, I mean, if it's a rubber mask, 
If it's a mask that you're peeling off, I just always automatically assume it's supposed to be thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. If it's a mask you're supposed to be peeling off, I just automatically always assume it should be thicker than a bowl of oatmeal because um, if it's too thin, it's just going to keep tearing off your face when you try to peel it off. You know, like for a cleaner rip, thicker is better. Mm. It's on my lip. <laughs> I'm sure this is all happening within two to three minutes. Exactly what I wanted. So since this is really a one-time application type product, I'm going to use the whole thing on my face. I honestly, I'm really not trying to do my nose because every time my dog is dirty and needs a bath and honestly I'm really nasty for doing this but I let him sleep on my bed on the foot and so he um and he won't even really be dirty but he likes to go in bushes and stuff you know and so he comes and lays on my bed after and um my, I don't know, like, if it's when he, like, oh, uh, I probably shouldn't have put this on my eyebrow, but it's, like, when he, um, oh, my gosh, he gets on my bed, and he'll, like, I guess, leave fragments of dirt on my bed or something, and he'll shake his body, and it'll make its way to my pillow, and then my face will be broken out the next day. And um, I always know it's him because it never happens until he sleeps in my bed. So explain that, science, you know? So um, I think this is, oh, I thought it was hardening on my finger. I was like, <laughs> but um, so now I'm just finishing i when my face does break out like this because i really i get like you know i get grossed out by my skin sometimes so um i'll just save my nose like you know for last and really like i don't know if you can even see it but it really is broken out right there so it's not cute but um yeah i'll just save it for i'll save the last dance for my nose Okay, so since I don't want to keep going back in and touching, I hope that helps. And I'm hoping this will just help me tear all that dirt and bacteria up out of my face. So... I'm going to let this sit for about 20 minutes and um, it's starting to harden already and I know you're only about to and I know you're only supposed to let this sit for about 20 minutes but I'm about to go join my zoom class and um i'll be back when my class is over honey dr jart just met <laughs> i hope um this is okay it's been an hour and 25 minutes and you're supposed to peel this mask off so i'm just gonna peel it off it's like it was already kind of falling off and the texture and the texture feels kind of like rubbery it really does feel like kind of rubbery when it's still wet but as it dries it turns into more of like um 
plastic but it's still kind of there's like some type of like it's oil or residue I don't know if I don't know if you can see the oil but yeah all that shine is like oil I don't know if it's coming off my face or off the mask but yeah I kind of think it's coming off the mask because my face is looking a little oily right now. Yeah. And I really didn't put on anything. I think I might have been supposed to shake it up a bit more because these like little white things they like seem really oily kind of like pockets or something but uh hey okay. so I think I'm just going to peel this off and I might just use the Fenty face wash or honestly because it's kind of harsh. Since I did a mask and the Fenty face wash kind of like really cleans your skin, I've decided to use my little hemp green mask to get this off my face. Um... Look at all this oil. Do you see this? Do you see all this oil? It's like greasy. It's like greasy, not even oily. I know it's over. Check out my girl's photo. see if it says you wash your face after because okay to remove any excess and follow with your skincare routine and i think i am supposed to do this it did say i think the in instructions did say before your skincare routine so this is just like a little brightening mask do you think my face looks brighter <laughs> so i'm going to be taking the sephora hemp mask Oh my gosh, my nail is broken. It's so difficult to open. I'm just taking this. Let me know if you like my nails. I'll do a tutorial on how I did them. And I'm just going to squeeze it onto my face. Like I said, it's not very pigmented, so. And then you just, as you can see, it doesn't really run. You know, like it'll sit on your face, but you will need more as you can see. I just also like to see my product on my face, so I use a lot. It is kind of running on my chin, but it's a slow one. So, now I'm going to go immediately wash this off. <laughs> so, here we have it. I feel like my face honestly looks way cleaner and a bit brighter. You know, like, let me try to focus so we don't lie to the people. I, um, I feel it. <laughs> so, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use my dark spot corrector or my Fenty eye gel cream. So, let's see. This one is a power shot of renewal. Reduces the look of puffiness. Mm, for day and night use. 
this one improves the look of puffiness in um six weeks so i'm gonna use this one i'm like i don't know okay i'm gonna save this we're gonna see let's see how the fenty goes because i haven't used this one either i'm really excited about the mirad but the fenty sheesh so it's so cute it looks like a little lip balm she needs to come out with one like this let's squeeze it up mm, it smells like the um moisturizer honestly like a balmy nice scent really like lip balm like as childhood lip balm for real so I'm really, you know, I think you're supposed to like swipe up and like pat it kind of into your eye. I will say this formula is really light and it really does smell like childhood lip balm, just like the um moisturizer. But they say the moisturizer is supposed to like seal your, it's supposed to seal the moisture and stuff into your skin, which I feel like it really does, you know, so... I'm really not tripping. It really does smell like lip smacker lip balm, though. Like a bubblegum lip balm from, yeah. I'm sorry? No. That's the smell. I've been trying to um name the smell literally since the first Fenty kit, but... This product is honestly so light and really good at blending, but it's so light. I honestly wish I had to put the Murad down and then put this Fenty on top of it, but that's okay. Um, So now we're going to top it off with some Fenty moisturizer. And this moisturizer this is the best moisturizer known to man literally all you need is like maybe this many like two pumps mm. and i don't like you know smooth it in in any particular fashion i just make sure i get my eye my under eye my eyebrows and my nose is usually last. And there we have it. <clears throat> that has been my skin routine for the day. I'm trying to revive my skin. I'm thinking about posting another video on Friday. I will use the Irish More Mud and the Murad Dark Spot Corrector under my eyes. So be looking for that and yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed, leave a comment and like below. My song's on all platforms, it's called Time Out. Yeah, add it to your playlist, cause I'm trying to fall out. <laughs> Buy my t-shirts, cause I'm broke.